Hello and welcome to Club Prairie Fire, the home of tequila, Tabasco and the mighty Duckworth Lewis Stern system. Uh, we are coming to you live once again back in Sydney, the Harbour City, uh, between the second ODI, uh, sorry, the first ODI between Australia and the West Indies has just finished and the second one's about to happen. And we are between day two and three of the England v India test series taking place over there, just so you know where we're at. Uh, that's right, we've got the four of us back together for the first time and the final time. Uh, in this, what we're calling season 10. Um, <laughs> sadly, Vaughny leaves tomorrow. So it is oh, back no. on to yeah. Zencaster for all of us sitting in our weird little studies, uh, wishing we were somewhere else. But don't worry, the content will keep coming all year. Cricket does not sleep. It goes forever and a day. Um, lots to chat about. Australia, they won the first ODI uh, against the West Indies at the MCG. Uh, India have started very strongly against England and are in a commanding <laughs> position, <laughs> Vaughny and Sri Lanka. They're dominating Afghanistan as well. Um, but this is, I mean, this is a particularly exciting episode because for the first time, we have a genuine cricketer in the studio <laughs> with us. Now, Sam Perry from the Grey Cricketer will agree that he doesn't really hold a candle to this man. Um, I've got a little intro here, if you'll just bear with me. Um, talk amongst yourselves. I've got it right here. Um, here we go. Hailing from Dominica, this young cricketer made his test debut this summer against Australia. A superb record-breaking rear guard 149 runs stand with Joshua De Silva propelling the West Indies to an unlikely but very popular victory over the Aussies in Brisbane. Please welcome Foxy Rovers best mate, <laughs> Kavim Hodge. Hey. Hey. Here he is. <laughs> welcome. Yeah, thanks. Pleasure to be here. Oh. Mate, can I can I just yeah. start at Hodge? It's great to have you on. I've noticed something. I've, I've, I thought I'll just bring it up on the pod. Look yeah. at this guy. He has his name <laughs> <laughs> it was on good. his AirPods. That Hodge. Yeah. That's what last like. and Fong. So yeah, if it's last, you, you, you know where to return it. On the top, just to remind <laughs> yourself of Foxy Rover. Thanks for coming in, Hodge. Um, and congrats on an amazing summer for the West Indies so far. Um, are you enjoying your time here in Australia? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, like I told you guys before the podcast started, one of the things I've enjoyed the most is the support we've gotten from, you know, the Australian crowd. I mean, coming here, we know it was always going to be a dogfight. It's going to be tough cricket, hard cricket. Um, but the support we've gotten from, you know, the Australian public has been amazing. And, you know, it was really good to be a part of and to experience. I I'm going to jump straight Congrats, mate, on the yeah on the tour. The the, the win in Brisbane obviously yeah. set the Test cricket world alight. Uh, the entertainment you've provided, Hugo. I don't know if you can queue up that little bit of footage that I I sent through, just so we can just run it here. I just want to see your reaction. We have this sort of slang terminology in Australia where sometimes if someone's batting so well against someone, we do we say what's called, and it's it's a little bit. Yeah, it's not. Hopefully people take it in the right way. We we say you're playing him on your flute, like you're playing, you're, you're batting so well, you yeah. could, you could play with your basically your cock. <laughs> <laughs> Were you just finding it that easy against Nathan Lyon that you just decided not to use your bat? No, actually there was a leg slip, but he was so wide that the camera couldn't see. <laughs> but there was a leg slip, so I was like, it doesn't make any. It wasn't worth playing with my bat. So you well. just played him with your flute. <laughs> Have you, have you heard that so, before, Vaughny? No, but I, I think you're the first player. In, we, what we like to, um, you know, talk about is people that make history. Yeah, I think you're the first player in the history of the game. There's been over two thousand five hundred Test matches right. to make love to the ball <laughs> <laughs> while you're out in the middle. No, I mean, in the Caribbean, there's a term that I refer to like you know, instead of like hitting the ball really hard, you know, you time the ball. Yeah. So we call it, you know, making love to the ball. But ah, um, I, that, that wasn't what I was intending to do. <laughs> but I think at the moment it was necessary, you know, you know, preserve your wicket and you think, come back another well, I thought I was looking at Ollie on Raya. Actually, when I was watching <laughs> yes, hello, that. Ollie. Welcome. How are you? <laughs> yeah, hi, Ollie. Well, I was just thinking, Liam Livingston's the other one, wasn't it? Didn't have yeah. like three times in a year. He just kept yep. wearing. But it wasn't love making. Yeah, that but was he aggressive. wasn't love making. That no. was just being punished yeah <laughs> that was been, so i would say that look playing the, reverse, also on right. playing, <laughs> playing the reverse sweep is a risky shot yeah you know playing the hook shot with three out on the boundary is a risky shot right. but that is risky <laughs> if you get that wrong it, I, you can get trapped you know yeah, I, I didn't intend for it to actually hit there you know i was just making sure that my hands and bat was away from the ball <laughs> And you know, I didn't bring legs. But you gave it play. a thrust. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get and twice? What does the umpire signal if you get runs off? That? 
<laughs> and Jun- I love Junior's commentary at the end of it. He goes, there's not much future in that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, very good, very good. Uh, now, um, you just—we're going to get right into how you guys went in that second test. Yeah. Um, you know, including that Gilly was going for you, former yeah. Australian yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Apparently, we've heard. <laughs> um, I just wanted to bring uh, Vaughny in quickly because mm. Vaughny, there was a bit of a farewell shindig last night for you. You are yes. heading back. Mm. Um, yeah, we were down in Coogee, down Little Jacks. Good turnout, good band. Actually, uh, the acoustic musician was Kerry O'Keefe's um, nephew, bizarrely. And Kerry O'Keefe's nephew's son was on... Was he on the drums, Gil? Yeah. Yeah, he was on the drums. Yeah, give a good spread. Nice few tunes. Bit of dancing. Oh, yeah. yeah. And a few A-listers in the room, was there? There was a few A-listers. There was uh, B. Lara. Yeah, one in particular. A. a Gilchrist. <laughs> uh, now, and the reason we bring that up is Gilly sent me a wonder, wonderful photograph this morning. Ah, if, yeah. And if you're on listening to us, make sure you go on and look at this. Basically... It looks to be um, our erstwhile producer, Ollie Silverton, creeping on him. Is that what you'd oh, say? Look, I, I don't know whether, what were you, were you was that a, a masterclass in how to use Ray successfully, or is that you confirming your uh, invitation to Brian's festival party, the carnival yeah. that's coming up? There were, there were three things that were going on on that phone. Um, first one was Raya, of course, just uh, exchanging notes. Um, second was declining this year's invite but we've got it next year guys i've secured that okay. late feb early march to um trinidad but the main thing was golf betting was oh, the main talking uh, point yes he <laughs> loves he likes it. it loves it so yeah. um did but, you were you giving him the tips or was he giving you the tips i was giving him the tips and he was dialing in his guy to to place the bets it was very <laughs> exciting right yeah and, and can i can we just just so we can kind of see if your tips work what did you tip be lara um, about golf that Wyndham Clark happen. is going to um, to win and he's hit 10 under today so is he out in front he, he is he was nearly dead last he's hit 10 and what under. were the odds when you told B. Lara this but he didn't get on 250 to 1 and did you get on no he got on. <laughs> so he's giving tips out I'm not he's not bit not he went, he went for Matt Fitzpatrick instead who struggled the Englishman oh, but the Englishman but, um, I didn't think that's how it works if you give tips out and you're so sure that this person's going to do something in sport yeah. you generally back it well my balance was quite different from Brian's did you see Brian's balance I did see Brian's balance and it's an astonishing number <laughs> yeah <laughs> for a betting account now, now Hodgie did you see the outpouring of emotion from, from um, Brian and the hugging with Gilly and then also the other one this week that came out which was amazing was Carl Hooper, mm-hmm. yeah. and you guys won. Did you yeah, see I, I, I did see it. You know, we saw the clips on on Instagram, on Fox Sports, and all that. So, I think what was said in the dressing room after, you know, when the guys came in, Lara and Hooper, is that you know we we didn't understand what we achieved. You know, we just a bunch of new guys. You know, we came to Australia, no, no, you know, cricket scars, nothing. You know, just fresh on the scene and we just turn up to play good cricket. So I think it's only now that, you know, the dust has settled. We've seen the videos and the timelines and everything. You know, we try to we're really understanding what is it we achieved. And, you know, we kind of had an idea, you know, when we saw Lara crying and Hooper crying and, you know, you... Gilly crying. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's crying. And, you know, you really understand, you know, what is it that you've achieved. And, you know, it was a great feeling. It is a great feeling. Now, Carl Hooper, did, so he's the coach, yeah. He comes in and does a bit of coaching with you guys. Does he yeah. tell you all to take the thigh pad off? Because he used to bat with no thigh pad. Yeah. Nah, nah. He just keeps it simple, you know, just a bit of motivation, um, a bit of insight of, you know, what to expect as batsmen, you know, what the bowlers might come with early up, um, back in the innings, you know. So just to give us a bit of insight and, and you know, just help us out as much as we can. So obviously, beating Australia is just, uh, you know, you're beating one of the lesser teams. And... <laughs> You're obviously coming to you're coming to England in a few months' time, so it was quite a nice warm up to play the England. I, I I'm not sure about the lesser team, but they were they were very um a very difficult uh, team to, to come up against. Um, but yeah, it's always good to to get experience under your belt, and I guess that the only way you get that is by playing cricket. Um, you know, one of the things the coaches always said, and you know, Shiv Shandapal. He always wanted to play against Australia first in the year because he knows that if he does well, you know, if he has a good series against them, you know, that sets him up for the rest of the year. You know, obviously coming up against a tough team like Australia, you know, you want to set your benchmark against them. So 
um, you know, we, we try to take um, a page out of that book. I think you'll quickly pick up that Michael Vaughan can be a bit of a <laughs> in this podcast, <laughs> but uh, a bit of a flute, <laughs> a bit of a flute. Yeah. Um, no, just go. I want to take you back one match yeah. prior to Brisbane. Your test debut, yeah. And you mentioned Brian. He yeah. presented you with his with your cap. Yeah. Um, that experience from the Australia and South Africa prior. Yeah. To there yeah. to. You know the the global stage. How have you found that? What did Brian say to you about the cap and what it means and how to carry it forward? Um, you know, basically he was just you know calling out the amount of Dominicans that had made the Test debut before me, um, and then all years that he's played Test cricket. You know, there's only been two Dominicans batting in the top six was that first game in Adelaide, and then obviously it was a part of history. You know, which I'm always you know happy to be a part of, but. You know, you know, prior to that, coming back to Adelaide was obviously nostalgia for me because, mm. um, you know, a lot of people know this, but like 14 years before that, I was in the Dyer Lehman Cricket Academy mm. in Adelaide. I saw a video of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2010. It's, yeah. So, you know, it was really good to come back and just, you know, be in the environment. What did Darren Lehman teach you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's just just the basics. Um, more of like mindset stuff, you know, real positivity, um, you know, some of tactics and stuff like that. But, you know, it was a really great environment. Um, Joe, Joe Root was there. Yeah, he was in mm. that, in that mm. um, Scott Borthwick. Ah. Yeah, to, uh, 2010, best group ever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> best group ever. But it was like, it was real nostalgia to be back in Adelaide and you know, it was a real dream come true. I mean, even after coming off the mark and just spend a little time at the wicket, you know, I just try and soak up everything and just be like, wow, I'm really here playing test cricket <laughs> against the best team in the world and, you know, just soaking it up. So, mm. I mean, there was nerves, there was butterflies um, that, that got the better of me. You know, eventually I got nicked off twice by the same bowler. Um, but, you know, I think after that, I was able to settle and, and really, you know, get into my game. Did you always test. have like the personality that we saw shine through in Brisbane? Yeah, yes, yes. Like, back in 2010, <laughs> were you like that around those guys? Yeah, I was. So, you know, it's, it was just it's just a byproduct of who I am. It's just now that the whole world got to saw who I really am, you know. So that's just, just the kind of person that I am. Uh, so, Hodgie, um, yeah. I'm not sure if you realise that, mm. but um, your great innings of 71 mm -hmm. in Brisbane, it was actually a record-breaking number do you know mm -hmm. what so yeah i think I, and De Silva? I, after after the, the the game i think the numbers were, were thrown out and you saw some um posters on instagram and stuff like that so and then joshua sent it to me and he was like you know well done we did this you know so it, it was always good to to contribute um you know to the total team effort regardless of what it is um you know at the end of the day you know you want to say that hey you put up your hand no matter if it's your first test match second test match but you know just the fact that we were able to bounce back and I think it, it showed one of the reasons why we were able to achieve what we did. Everybody at some point chipped in and did something. You know, we didn't depend on one guy, you know, to 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 carry the bulk. Everybody, you know, knew they had a part to play at some point. So yeah. Just um Kevin Sinclair. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. <laughs> now that celebration <clears throat> that we've only seen once in Test yeah. Cricket, we're, we're gonna see it plenty of times. Does he have different routines? Or has he just got the one flip? Can he do more? Has he got? Uh, I reckon. I reckon he could. He could do more. Um, probably just a single backflip or stuff like that. But I think that's probably his he favorite. Could go backflip? Could he? He could go the other way. I don't think I've seen him do it, but um, I reckon that's his favorite. He does it a lot in CPL and stuff. See so. what I was thinking on this pod. If we could get you, no, to produce, no chance. If, no, no, not you to do it. <laughs> to get Kevin to do a celebration and like. In memory of you being on this pod, like produce yeah. something different. So the next week you run get it. Yeah, I, nah, I think <laughs> I, uh, Kevin is. I think is busy enjoying himself home with his family. He has no time for that anymore. He only does that on the cricket field. Yeah, but when he gets his next wicket, yeah, we, we, you could get on the phone to him and say, mm -hmm. "Look, the boy's on the pod." Yeah, the you mean like back home in Guyana? Yeah, yeah. We, we think that you know maybe do a flip and then a back. Flip. And who do I send it to? Him. Yeah. 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 And then, well, you obviously send us the video when right, he does right, it. Right, right, right. But <laughs> that's what I'm asking. Who do I send the video to? You, well, just us. To okay. Club Prairie. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We'd like him to do something. I think I different. think you'll, you'll easier get Shamar to get him to do it. Yeah. Shamar, they're, they're, no. in the, they're in the same country. No, now we're talking Shamar, man. <laughs> I think we all want to know. Your physio must be outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> what was he putting in that set? <laughs> I, I have no idea, but I think that's one of the reasons why he's the physio of the West Indies team. He's... He's amazing. He finds a way to, to keep people on the park. You know, mm. he's made his way through the ranks and I, I must give him props. The first time 
I think he worked in the West Indies setup. There was the, the Canada T20, G T20. Yeah, mm-hmm. we had a the West Indies team had a B team to in that tournament, and there were so many injured players, but everybody played, and we <laughs> we made it to the finals. Right. We got beaten by Chris Gale's team. Yeah, but you know, it's just a testament of the kind of guy that he is. You know, so he deserves a, a lot of props for that. Not only does he do well to get him on the park, he sounds like he did well to get him out of the hotel room. <laughs> like Shamar wasn't going to the ground, was he? Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, probably like ten minutes before, you know, he told him, "Hey, come and have yeah, a look." Yeah, yeah. And then you know, Shamar turned up. Um, he didn't have his playing uniform and stuff like that. You know, put on someone else's shirt, put some tape on the back, him on the field. And then during the game, the liaison officer went back for his. Got his strip. Yeah, he's playing clothes, run yeah. off <laughs> by the bungee line. His <laughs> the Aussies have lost to someone with no kit. <laughs> We've got some leftovers here. Yeah, because I mean, he was you no, know, his toe was really, really busted up, man. You know, we didn't mm. expect we didn't expect uh. him to turn up to the ground. You know, so he just came for moral support. But did you see it? Hodgie, did what? you see the toe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it did was, it look like? Uh, it, it was pretty red, and but you know there was no fracture or, or mm. anything like that. Mm. But it was it was really busted. You could see the way he walked off. We didn't think he was. Well, he ran around the field, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> wh- whatever, <laughs> whatever. You know, Dennis gave him. You know, the secret juice or whatever it is. <laughs> it, it definitely. And I guess obviously in the moment, adrenaline and you know, yeah. So it was amazing to see. It was amazing to see. Um, speaking of the secret juice the kind of question everyone wants to know is how did you celebrate that night and the next day after that win um seen too much on socials yeah obviously i think we just spent time together you know appreciating what 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 we did as a team um obviously the one day guys were there as well you know so we just enjoyed everybody everybody's company we stayed at the hotel you know the bar was right there and you know so we just we just enjoyed each other's company and it was it was a great time what's your, what's your favorite tipple what's that drink um, celebrate that, that I, extraordinary win. No, I like um, sweet stuff. So I like, um, you know, virgin pina coladas. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, pina I'm, colada. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not one for the, the, the hard rum. I, I don't like it. I'm more of a, a wine person. Uh, fine wine. Yeah. White or red? Both. Once it's, <laughs> once it's, once it's sweet, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Now, as, on that ODI squad, um, obviously you guys went down that first match couple of nights ago mm-hmm. yeah um we just wanted to ask um how is walshy um is he was there what was the discussion in the change room post that run no, I, was there a single on is the question <laughs> I, I think that that would be for them to decide obviously you, you always have your opinion sitting in the dog out but out in the middle it's a different story but i don't think it, it was never mentioned after the game it was never mentioned um i i'm not sure if what if hayden and and Casey had a discussion after that, but it was never mentioned. It was just, you know, swept under the rug, and hopefully it doesn't happen again. Is that what would have happened in the English dressing room back oh, in the I day? I think it was, a, it, like, it, it was an easy signal. <laughs> <laughs> I think if Casey had been backing up by eight metres. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Might have been at risk of the man cat. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> if it had been out of his, yeah, out of his ground by a few, few metres, it would have... Like, I mean, he didn't hit it to the fielder, did he? He hit it quite a few yards away from the fielder. Diving stopped by Sean Abbott. I mean, it was a decent... Yes, come on. It's an easy thing. It's good fielder. It reminded me of, in a Shield game once, Greg Matthews, the great New South Wales and Australian all-rounder, who um, could come out with some random calls, hit one to a fielder and said, yes! And as he ran past Trevor Bayliss, who was a non-striker, he goes, Yes! But you better hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Run out by about two metres. <laughs> oh, Very good. So the Aussies won by eight wickets um, with about 11 overs to spare. Yep. Um, what can you guys do in the second one? Look, I think, it, and again, this is this is also a, a new squad. I think it's just a matter of understanding where we're at as a team, adapting and, and knowing what to expect. You understand? Which is just a matter of, of turning up. You know, we have to turn up. Um, whatever it is but we do believe you know that one thing with our dressing room whether the test team or the one the team there is a lot of belief and especially coming off you know that test victory you know it, it shows that anything is possible so you know like i said we one of the things that we're good at is putting the prior game um you know behind us and looking forward very quickly so it's just a matter of turning up and you know it's going to be exciting romario shepherd he was named after the football wasn't he you know that i didn't know that no. yeah yeah, the legendary Brazilian footballer. Forward, no, that's true. Yeah. When did Shepard play for Brazil? 
Oh, I didn't know you did the same So, um, the other thing I want to talk about was Cameron Green. Um, mm-hmm. and, and watching him bat. and Because it's, it's an exciting thing when he starts opening up the shoulders, isn't it? Because he's so gangly. Is that why? It's like a stick insect. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? You painted a wonderful picture of him there. I thought the other night that he was... You're going to really loosen up and open up the shoulders. And I mean, he obviously had uh, Josh Inglis doing that right from the outset. Mm. But then once Ingo was dismissed, I thought Greeny was really going to put the foot down. And um, I, I hope he does. I, I think I think he'll need to. Uh, I mean, they, they steered that innings beautifully. They were in control the whole time. But, you know, to, to keep up the pace with where the game's at, albeit they are the world champions, but I think we've seen you know, big totals more so become commonplace. And I think that'll be an opportunity for Greeny to allow his game to, to flourish and, and, and get to that that level that's going to get the 300s, 300 plus uh, more often than not. Now, Inglis, obviously an Englishman that can't play. Mm. A reverse he's from, he's from Leeds, yeah. yeah. No, he can't. No. I thought you could all, <clears throat> I thought you were all masters of the reverse. Well, well it, once you leave the shores <laughs> and come to Australia, probably there's something in the system that tells you that you can't play it. <laughs> and so, he's a good player, though. Yes. I think he's going to yeah. be the, the gun at the top of the order for a long time for Australia. Very, very exciting to watch. Just on uh, Xavier Bartley, he was outstanding. Yes, on his debut. yes he was, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Four for nothing. That, that peach that he bowled that first over. <laughs> that was a ripper. But <laughs> understandably, after bowling 10 overs and getting four for, he's now rested. I think that's a good decision. <laughs> so how long is he going to be rested for, Gilly? What is the policy these days? <laughs> four yeah, against I six months out. Or... <laughs> <laughs> no idea. But... Oh, uh... Well, you need a rest, don't you? You've bowled 10 overs and got four for nothing. You need a breather. <laughs> Two games, he'll be back. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, uh, do we want to keep going here with any more Australian West Indies stuff? There is obviously another Test match series that's taking place um, in India, is it? Well, there's a cup. There's three taking place mm. elsewhere, but there's this big India England one. Gilly, did you want to talk about that? Or not really? No. <laughs> Should we do Afghanistan Sri Lanka? I did. No, I must mention. In last night, we were in amongst the uh, the Vaughan farewell. We did have a glance at it, didn't we? Yeah, we kept we were, up to date yeah. with the scores and. Um, more and more, you know, as the England wickets fell in that, <clears throat> excuse me, first innings, you know, we'd all turn to Vaughan for the reaction. And his reaction was priceless, actually. It was, with every wicket, what was your... Well, I was just saying England have got them where they want them. <laughs> if you think about the first test hole, yeah. 192. Yeah, deficit. A deficit in the first innings. This game in, uh, where are they, Vizak? Vizak. Yeah. Vizak, 143 in the first innings. So you say England are on top and have got... India, what, 171 now? Yeah, yeah 171. Yeah, yeah. I was saying, gonna, the, have a look, the clear favourites, aren't they? In, yeah. In the betting market. Dollar twenty. England, um, yeah. yeah. You better text Brian, just let him know. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> cool that, but yeah. But I, I, it did make me chuckle, and it's made me chuckle. Look, so the England kind of uh, psyched for this tour, because they've been to India, and many teams go to India, and you get on these dusty pitches, and you all start complaining about the pitches, and oh, I can't bat on them. England have had this policy, no one mentions the pitches. But if you look at the captain, <laughs> he's been bowled now by Bumbra twice. His reaction is straight down the pitch. Through his back down. Yeah, yeah, back down on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is, has made me chuckle. Is Bumrah the best, I'm going to say bowler, let alone quick, in the world right now? Because a lot of players say he's so unfaceable. The technique's awkward. He gave us, I think, one of the best images ever. Ollie Pope this morning, bent over, stumps going everywhere. Unbelievable. Is he, with the reverse swing particularly, is he the best in the world at the moment? Well, I'll ask Kodji. I, you're going to have to face um, him. <laughs> I haven't faced him, so I, I can't tell. I, I, I would, you have to ask someone who's facing him. Yeah, he looks He looks, he looks really awkward, good. doesn't he? I mean, I, I, I think his action is incredible. What I think was your mate Tuffers on Test Match Special this morning, who was saying it's the 11 p.m. delivery. As in, because instead of here, it's here. So it can't. Is that right on the well, clock? That, well, that's 11 p.m. Yeah, yeah, right. That's past one, it? Uh, yeah. I'm looking at me now. Yeah. Right. yeah. So yeah. normally they d- bowlers between 12 and 1 they deliver. Yeah, Hodgie, yeah. back me up here. Right. Here and here. Whereas <laughs> Jasper, it's delivering over here. Is it not 11? Yeah, 11, yeah. Oh, no, I'm doing me. Sorry, look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right, He's facing yeah. the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. 12 here. Yeah. yeah. He's delivering. Yeah. He's about 11. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas, um, you know, most fast bowlers between 12 and 1. Would that be correct? 
Gilly, back me up. For those not watching on YouTube, but just <laughs> listening. To oh, this, sorry. Uh, yes. <laughs> you have know, no idea what's going on here. Got a pretty yeah. awkward-looking bowling action display by the professor. But, um, but you get what I mean. So tough as we're saying, because it comes out on that other side. Yeah, it's harder. Yeah, I'm past the perpendicular. Thank of, you. Of delivery, uh, but does it? So that all, you think all is going to be angling in at the stumps, but then with a bit of reverse, just gets it to just nip away and hold or hold its line or nip away from the right hander and lures a, a false stroke from a guy like Joe Root or I mean you, you, you don't you just don't go to India expecting an opposition well you expect an opposition bowler to get six for mm. but it's not typically going to be the same well they, they took our advice on last week's podcast because we said that India probably need to prepare green wickets now mm. to help the seamers because the spinners are doing no damage so maybe that's what they did this week does Raul listen to the podcast Ollie does um, Strava no, I'm not sure he does. Rohit, we hope, doesn't after last week as well. <laughs> no, 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 we, no, 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 no. Can we clarify? Can we clarify that comment? We passed it on to the vice captain. Yeah, we did. That's exactly that's, what we did. That's who made the mistake. Um, Stokesy, do we think, because was he thinking the ball kept low or do we think he was just too slow on it? Have you seen the dismissal, Gilly? I was a bit, I think, a bit disappointed in the England support staff that someone didn't go out and give Stokesy a good old corky in the quad. Just dead leg so that he needs to be injured and hobbling before he really clicks uh, in the gear yeah. yes. so I'll just go out and you know punch him in, in the arm yeah. or something and same as Shamar as well injuries seem to be the one get injured and you have a fire up yeah. Mm. yeah well you, well you shouldn't have got that knee fixed that was foolish <laughs> who let him do Silly. that just oh, but that'll you, yeah that'll, no, that'll be an interesting out. watch well, that one and the young kid Bashir was good on his debut nice off spinner got a funny run up have you seen his run up no, what's he doing? He kind of he kind of runs in and then he jumps to the left and he comes back to the right. He, he's a bit like Ollie at one a.m. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get to the kebab shop, <laughs> Do- dodging the ladies. <laughs> the kebab shop. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a funny old so, run up. I guess Jazzwall's the big. Oh, oh yeah! Wow! Oh, 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 wow. Oh, yeah, boy, can bat. He can bat. Oh, he's uh, and player. he's fifteen, not out. Oh, yeah. Is he right where he's right where they want him? <laughs> uh, I would or? say he, he's a problem for England. Yeah, he is an issue. He's he's an unbelievable player. <laughs> did you guys flag him earlier? I was I know you flagged we did Shubman Gill to have a big World Cup. Did you guys pick Jaswal to Yeah, ja- yeah. Yassish we Yeah, been, yeah, yeah. We, we I met him in the pool um in Mumbai during the IPL. Me and actually the uh, the boss of Fox Cricket, Matt Weiss, were in the pool and there he was. And we talked to him and I'm not saying it's because of our conversation, but he got a hundred the next night <laughs> in Mumbai. <laughs> Uh, our advice was uh, probably not for this podcast because we we're talking about other things other than cricket. But um, yeah, his story is remarkable. He comes from uh, an area away from Mumbai and there's a street seller that had a cricket team. Said, oh, if you want to play in the team, you're going to come sell the sweets on the street. Came down, he was sleeping under a bridge and then he started playing cricket, scored a load of runs, suddenly made it into the first class team. I think he scored 712 innings in first class cricket which got him this gig with the Rajasthan Royals and then obviously within the next year or so he's played for India he's got two test hundreds now he's got a double against the best team in the world England (laughs) so that's going why are you laughing Hodgie I'm not I'm I'm, I'm, I'm amazed (laughs) hey Hodgie just so you know when you go and play in England you guys might win but that doesn't mean that you guys have won just so you know yes on the score don't go in blinkered yeah. Well, well, on that, we've actually been sent something um, in as a gift, I think, to you, Gilly. Right. This is from FT Cheap Sheets, um, and they genuinely uh, do clothing in cricket stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they have sent in, and I'll hold up now, a T-shirt. This is our first gift. <laughs> moral oh. <victory. laughs> hold it up to the screen there. Oh. It says moral victory, but the moral has been scrubbed. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. I'll wear and that. The eyes, the urn. So that was for you, Thank Gilly, you. from FT Cheap Seats. Thank uh, you. Uh, Hodge, when, <laughs> can I just give you some advice? When you play at Lords, just be wary of some of the members <laughs> in the long room. Yeah, yeah they get a bit lively. Are you allowed to do that? Yeah. Well, they just get a little bit chirpy in there with their egg and bacon ties on. And there's some strange names egg and as well. Bacon. Yeah, they have the egg and bacon ties. They'll have some of those on. And yeah, there's some. They're a bit of a different vintage to, yeah. to yourself, but just be wary of that long room. Right. The other ones are the Have social you, media team. Duly you know, noted. Boards. They're out to yeah. get Be you. wary of them. Yeah, they, they post things if you get... Was it Brett Lee that bowled you? Well, they seem to post 
<laughs> Dale Stone knocking my off stump out of the ground, which he did on many occasions, but once at Lords. They seem to post it every week. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of uh, social media posting, actually, your story, were you flying alongside, well, we talked about Chanda Paul, the famous Sean Paul, who's over for a music festival. He came out with lyrics that obviously famous Chanda Paul, somebody got, and everyone thought it was Sean De Paul. It's not. It's about Shivnarayan Chanderpool. He's admitted massive cricket fan, and you were sitting next to him. Well, he, yeah, I, I, he came on the plane, and, and I've got to be honest with you. He comes on, and he sits next to me, and then he, his band get on, and they carry on down the back, and, and I'm looking at him, going, "Shaggy, isn't it? <laughs> shaggy, <laughs> what? It's shaggy, right? He's at the same festival. To right. be fair, that's why. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. So, so, so uh, Gilly, I've seen. So I take a selfie <laughs> with Sean Paul. <laughs> And I put it on the Fox Sports Shaggy. WhatsApp group. I went, wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> have you got the pic? Oh, no, no, I no, I've got the pic. We'll have I to did, put this up. I, I, I it's deleted, a story. The I deleted it because then I heard someone come on and call him Sean. And I was like, oh, right. So while he was next to me on the plane, I'm... On Google, yeah. look yeah. going, <laughs> Sean Paul images, look at him going. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think he's doing the same thing on? Is it Marcus yeah. Triscothi? Yeah. <laughs> is, is it Alistair Cook? It's one of them. It's one of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, massive cricket fan. Have, have you met him or come across? Yeah, Sean no, Paul I've, I've, I've never met Sean Paul. No, I've, I haven't. Every song basically started with Chanderpool, which yeah, is about yeah, Shivnarine. Yeah. Which is it's only recently that he, we saw on the internet he, he was actually referring to Shivnarine. Yeah. What's, on the, um, what's on the what's on the beatbox in the West Indies change room at the moment? Yeah. Who's who's top pick on the playlist? Um I think everybody has everybody has their own preference. Yeah. You know, some like soca, you know the Trinis, you know, love their soca Jamaicans have their reggae and stuff. So it's it's just uh, I mean, it's just a, a, a melting pot. Everybody has a little bit of something, so it's just not one Sorry, direction. Sorry, just said Oasis. Oh, wait, Oasis. Oh, wait, Oasis. Oh, wait, no. Taylor Swift, big no, Swifties. No. <laughs> Human League. No. <laughs> no, Sheffield Band. So, sorry, no. <laughs> sorry. Just, 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 you know, one of the big things on this podcast, look, have you ever played cricket in Yorkshire? No. No, so we, we well, Gilly came up with this. He's, to be deemed a great at mm -hmm. the game, you got to have scored 100 in Yorkshire on a Tuesday night, on, on, a, on a wet wicket. On a Tuesday night? Yeah, Tuesday mm. night. Virat's never got one, so yeah. he's not a great player. He's not, no. no. So you could complain at Yorkshire? Hopefully. Get you there on a Tuesday night, you get 100 greatness. Legend would, would, would love, <laughs> would love that. Had, hadn't he? <laughs> Had he done a Tuesday night in Yorkshire? I think he's done a Tuesday night, but I don't I'm think he was playing on the cricket. field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's in the wine bottle. But, but, <laughs> right, but, yeah. but still got a hundred. Yeah. Have, yeah. um, yeah. oh, have you played in India? In, um, at yeah. all? On yeah, any? yeah, under, under 19. Under 19? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. that, yeah, that'll be the next, I suppose you got, you'd say England is the next test series, mm. mid-year this year. Yeah. And then when a West Indies do in India in any time? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I think there's two home series after England. So yeah, right. I'm not sure when. Just be careful if you go and play in India. If you play a certain shot well, yeah. mm. they try and get it banned. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happened. Yes, yeah, so it'll the be reverse. the box. It'll be the box ball. They'll ban that. <laughs> oh, they'll, ban you. <laughs> they'll ban you making love to the ball. Forget Baz ball. We got box ball. <laughs> <laughs> <Come> on, <G. laughs> hey, and, and and what about wanting to steal our Foxy Rover? What'd you call him? Um, Alfred. Alfred. <laughs> yeah. Where's Alfred come from? Um, I think it, it, the name just stemmed up. I think back home in our first class team, we have um, this little teddy bear that. Before mm. every match, you know, we play a warm-up game, and who plays the worst gets the teddy bear to carry around, carry back, around back for us and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and we call him Alfred. So the name was just like in my memory box. I just, right. I just call him Alfred, and he kept following me all around on the field, <laughs> and so I just call him Alfred. <laughs> well, I loved your reference of the. Stop the robot! <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I, I, I didn't expect them to add in that little piece. Yeah, you know, it was, but it, 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 it was, yeah. it was always in my mind that you know he was causing a little bit of mischief in the test matches. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so good, <laughs> so good, very good. Now we, uh, we do have a quiz to come on this show. We also have a sponsor to get through. But oh. I just wanted to ask you a little bit about Dominica. Mm -hmm. I, mm. Can you tell us about it? I, 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 to be honest, I hadn't really heard of it. Yeah. I know that's probably because I'm a bit of an idiot. But <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. Um, <laughs> what's, what's it like? I and mean, what's the, the town where you're from like? Yeah. Um, so it's it's very mountainous. Um, a lot of the, the, the villages and towns are you know, located at, at the 
on the seaside based on the mountain um there's not much people it's like roughly eighty thousand people in population so everybody knows everybody um so you know you you come from a, a country with like eighty thousand people and you you rock up at um Brisbane, the Gabba, and thirty something thousand people are watching you. <laughs> it's almost half your population. Of course you're gonna be in awe, but it's very relaxed. Um, you know, it's it's um a lot of greenery, a lot of forestry. So I think that's as reflected upon the kind of person that I am. I'm very chill, you know, easy going, relaxed. Um, you know, I enjoy nature, grew up near the beach playing cricket and stuff like that. So yeah, you know, like I said, everybody knows everybody. We all love sport. We all love, um, you know, to see each other prosper. So and it's, it's a very lovely place. Completed a university de degree? Yeah, yeah. There. So was that at the university there? In no, it was in, it was um, at UWE in, in Barbados, at okay. Cavefield Campus, yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Just, What's your that, degree? That in? sounds like a very good university to go yeah, to. Yeah, they do, mas they do <laughs> masters or anything? <laughs> no, no, I did a bachelor's in, in kinesiology. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Cool. Just having a look there, I don't think, They've got any games, but how excited is everyone, especially in the Caribbean, for the T20 World Cup just a few months away? No, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think everybody loves T20, especially us in the Caribbean, you know, having a lot of greats in, in that format of the game, you know. So it's something that we're, we're looking forward to and, you know, just to, you know, boost um, the cricket in, in the Caribbean. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. Are we going to get there, guys? Have we got a way to get to the Caribbean? Yeah, we're looking for a sponsor um, That's to do it. That's our favourite catchphrase on this show. <laughs> <laughs> we get shirts, mate. When, we are going everywhere yeah. when we get That's right, sponsor. when we get yeah. a sponsor. Uh, now, would you like to do the little sponsored segment here? Oh, absolutely. Professional Home Services. Um, obviously, this is... Um, if you need any work done, they'll definitely come to um, to you. Uh, brilliant. They just basically do renos and fix everything up with um, brilliant tradesmen. And this segment is about who's going to improve because they make home improvements, rebuilding, and each week we throw someone... Um, we didn't go great last week. Well, Vaughan, he said Jim Maxwell will go better, and I think he, he did all no, right. No, he's, he's doing the game in Sydney, so okay. he wasn't in Melbourne. He's back in Sydney. Okay, so look, but you also said Travis Head. He was got four. Well, that's it. So 400% improvement. <laughs> and it was, what, what and, did we think? And now resting. Yeah. yeah. Is he resting after the four? Yeah. Is yeah. He, yeah, he's been yeah, rested. Yeah, he's, Prof said India would bounce back. They obviously haven't because they've only got, you know, a lesser deficit. So yes. they're struggling. And Gilly, you said you would improve because you're in the doghouse for not going back home and you're looking after yourself. So how's that going? <laughs> oh, did you see me going off the other night at the MCG when Australia won? I was running around dry rooting the Aussie players. It was, it was perfect. But, uh... <laughs> no, <it> was. <laughs> perfect. Right. Well, so this week it's, um, yeah, who is going to bounce back so who wants to uh who wants to go first open up no I, i'll start I, I, I think walsh will bounce back you know i think he'll bounce back this this week i think he'll uh he'll you know run between the wickets it, like he doesn't need to improve that much in his running between the wickets but slightly so i think walsh and I, I like him i like his uh, he's got he's got the most amazing shades in warm-ups to be fair i have to say the west indies you all have got the coolest shades yeah. mm -hmm. i don't know where you get them from but they're different to every other team that I see. So I, I'm, I'm going to go uh, Walsh. I think he'll bounce back. Gilly, would you like to go next or me? Uh, no, you can go. I'm going to steal Ollie's. I'm going to say Wesley Matthews. Were you? Angelo Matthews. It's Wesley Matthews. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wesley Matthews. Wesley. Wesley. Are you close friends? I went to school with Wesley. Wesley. Let me finish. Nothing to do with cricket. Yeah, he lost his horrible. Lost his dog Wesley, and I'm wishing him all the best. No, Angelo Matthews. Who is Wesley? Wesley Math Wesley Joel Take Matthews. What was he? 1986 American professional basketball player for the Atlanta Hawks. Ah, uh, there you go. That's my uh, NBA knowledge uh, seeping in there. Let's. I'm going to go Angelo Matthews. Yeah. Obviously, um, I'm trying to steal Ollie's before he gets to do oh, it. Did I? Yeah. 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 Now, if you didn't see this dismissal go on, have a look. Um, it's how would you describe that delivery? We've all seen it now. It's about a foot and a half down leg. Yeah. And he tries to um, just belt it down to fine leg well, and it got takes us, out his yeah. leg stump. It got us thinking: worst ball to ever get a wicket mm. potentially. Well, Probably. there was one that Vaughn bought to Sachin Tendulkar. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> It was all right. Uh, I reckon uh, I'm, my bounce back's going to be our wonderful colleague in the Fox commentary team, Brendan Julian. Smooth, classy, good-looking rooster. Velvet voice. Uh, in a domestic game, um, WA versus New South Wales, Big Jack Edwards was bowled by a ball that sort of it did a little bit, sort of angled in at the stumps, went away a bit, hit off stump. But Big Jack 
just played all around it. You can imagine trying to carve down across the line, just fell over, stumps everywhere, and BJ's commentary was, bold him, beautifully played. <laughs> <laughs> so I reckon, I reckon BJ will bounce back because he's, uh, he he's doesn't class. He BJ, does he? Nah, is there something going fine on there, looking man. Yeah. What, was, what was Junior's commentary the other night about the eye? Oh, yeah. Jeez. I don't know how he announced. No, he said. I said I heard it out the corner heard of my eye. <laughs> I heard it out the corner of my eye. Well, he did oh, say. Man. Remember in pre-test match, he said it was a, a, a breath, a, a fresh of breath air. <laughs> Yeah, we we need to get that. him on this pod. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how, yeah. how he on commentary the night said the was it next ICC event would be in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, well, I'm obviously uh, going. Hodgie and the West Indies are going to win the second ODI oh, in good. Sydney. I think yeah, they're going to do a job. Um, currently paying seven dollars. That seems free money. Um, do it responsibly. <laughs> um, but yeah, all about that. So um, I think the West yeah. Indies are going to. Going to get it done at the SCG. So thanks right. for, uh, for professional home services. Yes. Any, anyone that you think? No, I think he, he stole. He stole, yeah. stole yours. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I reckon we're, we're going to take the second one and yes. bounce back. So yeah, okay. double very, up on that. Very good. Now, uh, Hoji, what we like to do on this show when we have a guest on, we finish with a quiz, mm-hmm. and uh, Ollie likes to write one based on our guest and their professional career. So have you written one about Hodgie today? I absolutely have. Yeah, I've gone through your <laughs> crick info and found all of your facts and figures as well as Vaughnies and Gillies, which I think I know off by heart now. <laughs> um, but here we go. So, And you, you answer each time all three of you will play and uh, Prof is always on scoring. So question number one, what is higher? Hodgie's first class runs, Vaughnies ODI balls faced or Gillies T20 runs? That's domestic and international. So any so who gets to answer? Who, yeah, so you all get to answer. What's to the pick. highest of those? I'll take this with me here. Oh, you know, just to, to make it with... very fair. So Hodgie's <laughs> first class runs, Vaughnie's ODI balls faced, or Gilly's T Twenty runs. In all, in, in international what? cricket, Gilly. Both domestic and international. Uh, I'm I'm going Hodgie. Hodgie. Gilly's first going Hodgie. First Hodgie's, class runs. Yeah, I'd, I'd, Hodgie's going Vaughnie. I, I'd go Hodgie. Hodgie, okay. I'd go Hodgie. What, what have you gone for, Hodgie? I've gone for Vaughn. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so, Hodgie's first class runs, 2,877. That's more than me, I reckon. Gilly's T20 runs, 2,894. Oh, 17 just. more. Vaughnie's ODI Bulls Face, 2,890. Eight. Oh, four. Hey. <laughs> point for the, oh, point for the guess. Gee, well done. Oh, that. All within yeah, <laughs> 21. Yes. Wow. Um, this one is... You, do need, um, you, Ollie, you do need to find success on Raya because that, <laughs> yeah. if you're going that deep into, into stats, you are a very it's bored a, It took a man. lot of counting. I watched every single one. You were unlucky a few times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, question number two. What well, is on higher? that, just quickly, did you bring up with Junior about his drop catches? Oh. oh, we didn't. No. no so if you're listening last week, Junior had said that he only dropped five, five in his yeah. career. We found a YouTube clip that, that somebody just put together that had at least eight. eight oh, already. Nine, yeah, but, <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sorry, on you go. Great. Question number two. What's higher? Hodgie's first class wickets or Gilly's ODI half centuries? Oh. Ooh. First class polls, you said? First class polls. Bowling, or you little ODI slow, slow left arm orthodox. Half centuries. ODI half centuries. I think my polls. You're saying your polls? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Hodgie. Hodgie, Hodgie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look me like that. I'm going, yeah, I'm going with the wickets. Um, we have 55 ODI half centuries from Gilly. Mm-hmm. And we have 56 first class. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there we By go. the barest of <laughs> margins. Give <laughs> <laughs> we me we'll off another full <laughs> score here. Right. Um, number three. Who has a higher list A top score? Vaughnie or Hodgie? List A. So list A. Uh, first uh, class. Like, no, domestic one mm. day. Uh, yeah. Um, they're not one day internationals include that. No, yeah, no, just list, it's list, list A. Yeah. Is the, yeah, I'll go Vonnie. Yeah, I reckon I'll go myself. Yeah. The highest score. High yeah, score. individual. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're both going. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Gilly? Uh, 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 you're a bit confident. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. So, yeah. 
I'm going against the grain here. I'm going with the dodgeball. Hodgie, <laughs> 123. Vaughn, 125. Ah, oh. yes. There we go. Just. Very <laughs> surprising. Three from three. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of the running now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I think Gilly's gone. Right, Gilly I can't <laughs> fight back. Yeah, I can but, beat the banana peel here. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, can, you know what? You can tie. Have you done three questions? Yeah, yes. you can yeah. tie still. So you can tie. Right. So, right. so we got right. Hodgie three, Vaughny two, Gilly one. Okay. Well, I was going to do my professional home services bounce back for Gilly because he got zero in the quiz last <laughs> week. But, but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> it's that thing. Um, number four, what is higher? Gilly's sixes in T20 internationals, Hodgie's fours in test matches, or Vaughny's sixes in ODIs? We've had the ODI sixes yeah, for you I, before, I, I, haven't I we? Didn't what? Get many of those. What number? Gilly's oh, sixes in T20 internationals. Few, which wouldn't be many. Hodgie's fours in tests. No, nah, not. Nah. I'm gonna and go. what's the third What's the third option? Uh, Vaughny's sixes in ODI cricket. Which is... I go for Gilly. You're going Gilly? Okay. I'm going to go dodgeball. I'm going to hit like... I can count it with my hand on the fours. I've hit the dodge cricket. <laughs> you hey, and you get 71 and 30. You got 100 mm. runs in Brisbane. Yeah. Him getting... <laughs> Don't help. No, help. Uh, like, <laughs> 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 Just try and draw it out. Yeah. I'm, uh, going I'm, I'm going Hodgie. I'm going Gilly, yeah. I'm going Hodgie. Gilly had 13 sixes I in like T20 this. internationals. Vaughny had 13 sixes in ODIs. Did I? And Hodgie's had 14. Four yeah! Still in the game. Still in the game. 14. Go. Gilly's still alive. Wow. <laughs> Have I leveled up that? Yeah, Vaughn's yeah. leveled up. Wow. So three, 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 two. two. Whoa. 14, okay. 14 fours. Wow. You said on one hand. Yeah. yeah. That's a big I hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Okay. So, number five. What is higher? Hodgie's first class 50s, Vaughn's ODI 50s, or Gilly's ODI 100s? Fifties, ODI hundreds. I'm gonna go Gilly. You can Gilly's ODI hundreds. Yeah. Um, Vaughn's was uh, his ODI fifties. Mm. Vaughn. You're going Vaughn. Right. Yeah. So Hodgie's gone for Vaughn. Vaughn's ODI fifties. Vaughn's gone for Gilly. And so, <laughs> so you, can you, go you need. For Hodgie. So, you, <laughs> so if I go for me and yeah. it's right, Vaughn he... wins. Yeah. yeah. So I you've got to go, go the other one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I've got to go. Um, Hodgie. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have 16 ODI 50s for Vaughny. Nice. We have 16 ODI 100s for Gilly. Oh. And we have 18. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a fight back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the game. There you go. So in that's three apiece. And I've wow. got, I've got a tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah, we're all level. Yeah. All level. Oh, professional oh, home services what, what, fight back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, wow, and this is, well, the tiebreak for, you know, all the glory in the last one of season 10, um, <laughs> first and last episode. Right, you've shot to fame for many reasons, beautiful runs, but as we talked about, talking into the mic. Yeah. How many views, nearest one wins, has that had on cricket.com.au's YouTube video as of this morning? You chatting away. <laughs> into stump Alfred, mic. Into stump mic on YouTube. 3.4 million. Um, so before we go any further, can you just do for us because you absolutely nailed it. The yeah. first line, you're yeah. you're the TV director, uh, TV umpire to director. We have a review for change of bail. <laughs> 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 no, I was like, I just, best angle yeah, <laughs> I just, I just, she was like changing it. I, I just saw the opportunity and took it. I just, oh, <laughs> I couldn't, oh. I couldn't help it. Um, okay, so I'll go for like five million views. 3.45 4.2 oh, Thank you very much oh, oh, Thank you very oh, much Another victory oh, For England no. <laughs> For England oh. There you go well, Great well, well done What a great quiz Best of the, yeah, best of the season Ooh, I reckon it was. Quizage yeah, yeah, well well We back. should get that sponsored that <laughs> Yeah that would be good We should, we should. Yeah. We should. Um, <laughs> We'll see how we go Alright Hey All thank right. you very much everybody All that's left to do Um Hodgy mm -hmm. is we like to do a bit of a toast, which generally speaking involves a prairie fire, mm -hmm. which is what the show is named after Gilly's favourite um, toasting drink. A but prairie fire is just a little shot of uh, tequila mm -hmm. with a, a, a couple of drops, <laughs> minimum three drops as recommended, a uh, Tabasco sauce. Uh -huh. but, um, 
obviously uh, Hugo, whose studio this is, <laughs> yeah. he'll need to fight back next time we're here yeah. because he's left us empty. He's oh, obviously right. been living here again, Hugo. Yeah. <laughs> you, you offered the missus again, Hugo? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what are we what are we going to adapt with here? We've we've just got a beer. One of the old one of the old sponsors just to crack up, and it's only half a per, half a percent, isn't it? Or one half a percent. Well, we're not gonna, obviously going to force Hodgie to. Well, no, no, no Hodgie's no, no, gone. No, he's, um, he's about to get a ton, that's, but we're going to bring right. cheers to him if we pa- pass this round. I just thought it was um, oh. quite poetic, isn't it? Casamigos has, has finished, but um, yeah. yeah, to um, to Hodgie. To Hodgie. Right, here we go. To Hodgie for the ton. Yeah, yeah. Hodgie yeah. for the ton. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> green race you guys' glove. In all. In all seriousness, mate, for you to come in yeah. this morning yeah. on a on a game day, yeah. um, hopefully we haven't stretched you out too much. Yeah. You, you need to have a rest or get rotated out because yeah. there's a lot of that going on. <laughs> yeah. uh, congratulations on a, a wonderful tour to this point. Yeah. There's clearly more to come, yeah. more business to do, but you've provided a wonderful amount of entertainment and we are thrilled to have you here, mate. Thank you Cheers, very much. Well Thank you for having me. Cheers. 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 <laughs> There we are. There we go. So, well, that was the end of our summer Australian run, season 10. Oh, sorry. Be... I forgot. Presentation of the cap. Oh, hey. Oh, it's not, yes. It's not uh, good. Brian Lara like, but uh, uh, you, there you go. The, you are the first person from the Caribbean to yeah. have a club prairie fire cap. So, right. thank you very you can much. wear that with pride, mate. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Raise that. Raise that. Raise the hat. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Putting it on. Perfect. <laughs> thank oh. you, Hodgie. No, yeah. fair enough, yeah. too. Um, <laughs> we don't know where they were made. <laughs> Yeah, um, yes. mate, this is what happened to me. <laughs> so, so, uh, you don't want to do, uh, same here as you. Doesn't matter. Uh, yes, hey, I also wanted to say thank you to you, Vaughny, for oh, yeah. while you were here in um, Australia. Always a great job that you do. We all watch and enjoy you. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, safe travels. Thank you. Back to old Blighty. I'll see you on the screen. Yeah. 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 See you on the Zencast. Zencaster. It's going to be yeah. fun, isn't it? Celebrating England 5 0 in a few yeah. weeks. Yeah. That will be good on the screen. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I have a slight concern about that now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be honest. All right, very good. 4 1. 4 1. Okay. Yeah, very good. I think yeah. they might get this week. Yeah. And then three, well, once, two. once Virat and Shami come back. I think that's when England will get them. Yeah. Brings them back to the field. Yeah. Unba- unbalances the team, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, Jimmy's, what, Jimmy's 41. He's got them now, hasn't he? Yeah. Three for nothing. They don't score off him. Economy of 1.7. Jimmy will have them on toast for the rest of the series. There you go. Very good. 4-1 to Australia. Sorry, England. You were here first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just, Who was that? Mike Matthews you were talking oh, about? I, just, I didn't get much sleep. Like a bit Matthews. going on in my house. All right. Uh, we are Club Prairie Fire. Please subscribe. Please like. Please listen. Uh, all socials are at Club Prairie Fire. Uh, there will be merch available soon, we're hoping. If you are a very wealthy person at some multinational corporation, <laughs> please send an email to Ollie uh, if you enjoy the show. All right. Hey, that was us for summer. Well done, Vaughny. Well done, everybody. Yeah, well done, everybody. Well Thanks, well Hodgie. Well well Cheers. Everyone. See you guys. Adios. Ciao. Well, remarkably, you've watched the show. Thank you. That's all I can say. And if you really like it, press something, I don't know, something on the screen, press it, uh, or subscribe. That'd be really handy. It'd be really nice. Thank you.